Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today's video is going to focus on the MDV Plus One. Let's talk about the three options uh, that you can purchase online, the new sheath, and the trainers. So when you go online and you purchase an MDV fixed blade, you're going to have three options or three variations. Originally, all we had was the D2 version. It's still a popular option. Uh, the one that I, I would suggest that you lean a little bit towards. The next one is the Damascus version. There's been those that have been asking for a... Um, increase or an upgrade to the metal and obviously this kind of fits that that requirement the thing is is that the finish here is uh, a little bit subdued so that's one of the features that i, I really like how um, it came out obviously i prefer to uh, have a blade that's going to hopefully protect me or my loved one and so i don't like blades that are super shiny uh as most damascus steel blades are this one came out subdued and in turn it also has a finish on it that's a lot easier for you to hold on to or to grip um it's kind of hard to explain uh but when you grab one or hold one in your hand you'll you'll have a uh, you'll understand what I'm talking about now obviously you still want to tape these because even though it is a stickier or a, a grippier surface area the thing is is that when there's blood or there's sweat uh, in between that it's still going to be a little bit harder for you to hold on to so you still want some sort of tape um, and if you haven't seen those videos then make sure that you check those out the third option that you'll have is the aluminum version. So the aluminum version here is a one shot deal. Now we designed these just like with the aluminum daggers to be something that is for personal protective skills. So you give it to a loved one, you uh, take one on a run, you carry one when you want to just have something that is readily accessible um, but will still do the job. They're very, very sharp. Um, they are not gonna fail on you in that moment. Uh, when you stab through things, it will penetrate uh, with proper force uh, and technique. But the thing is, is that directly after that encounter, if you were to look at the blade, there might be a lot more nicks. Uh, maybe the tip uh, blunts a little bit more as it, it bounces off the, something hard, such as bone, right? So when you want to uh, give a very light weight option to someone or to carry it yourself, this is where we would go with the aluminum versions, all right? Now, in the box, when you order any of these three versions, you will receive not only the live blade, you will receive a flat sheath that looks just like this. Now in the next section, I'm gonna cover a little bit more about that and what I think about it. And then the other thing is that you'll receive two carry or belt clip options uh, in a bag and that'll allow you to attach this in any way that you see fit or is uh, built off of your personal preference. So let's go into the sheath and uh, my thoughts on it. The new sheath, one flat, really like that. Fact is, is that if you don't take one of the belt attachments, attach it to here, or you uh, have an aftermarket uh, attachment, such as a soft loop that wraps around your belt, the thing is, is that the profile is really, really small. So you can sit this in your pocket and there's not gonna be a, a large profile there. It'll sit behind your wallet or your keys or whatever, and it's not gonna catch on anything. So that's really, really good. One of the other things is it has a positive lock into it. So what happens is you'll notice that it snaps into position and it's not going to drop out. So that is a little bit of an upgrade to maybe the previous sheaths. And some of you don't really like the fact that when you go into a uh, rhino sheath, that all it is is just a little bit of a push and then it automatically comes out. Um, 
obviously that was the design of the rhino sheath it shouldn't click it just basically should hold enough tension so that if i need to i can pull the sheath directly off uh, for those of you that have been waiting for them they are in stock now on the website so go to the sheath section and you'll find that we have a lot of these in stock uh, currently Another thing about this is the fact that I can hold it in my hand and anytime I want to actually uh, pull the blade, I can do so by basically popping or what I call prepping the draw, which is basically exposing my hand like that and then the sheath comes off. You can do that in the hammer grip by just pressing and then that is there. So I just do that and you'll notice that works. So if it's in your pocket, what happens is I can just keep it in my pocket and then it just works in that fashion there. So it makes it for a very, very fast draw. Uh, there's enough uh, lock on that sheath so that if you ever wanted to draw that out of your pocket like this, it's going to have the sheath on. If you want to prep that, you can do so by just locking that in here so uh, I really really like the sheath it's a good option so for those of you that are looking for attaching this to gear um, you can put this behind a uh, pistol mag carrier uh, the molly is going to be a little bit easier for this sheath than the previous one that came with the MDV I'll make a video on the elite U to kind of show how my gear is kind of set up uh, using this blade I like to use this blade on my gun belt um, and then I have a guardian on my plate carrier but uh, I'll show you a different uh, variation and how to kind of set that up in the video there um, so if you buy one of the MDVs one of the live versions whether that be the D2 the Damascus or the uh, aluminum versions, you're gonna get one of these. So I hope you guys enjoy that sheath. Uh, tell me your opinions of it. Uh, and then if you have any questions, shoot them down in the comments. The next thing we're gonna do is start talking about the trainers. And that brings us to trainers. The big update here guys is the color. The fact is, is that they're now blue uh, versus red. So moving forward, all MDV trainers for the fixed blade are going to be blue. So uh, go on scallywagtactical.com and you can order them uh, in the trainer section. They are on sale as of right now for, I believe, 50% off. So they're $25. Now, speaking of the old trainers, you'll notice that I have two of them off to the side over here. The reason for that is kind of just to tease or prep uh, a future video that I'm doing, which is an update to the wrap video that, that I did. Uh, so wrapping the handle, I kind of went over a real basic two point uh, and I gave some reasons as to why I like that. But there are other variations that I do and it really holds to what I am going to use the knife for. Like, What is the purpose of it? Am I carrying it as my primary weapon system? Uh, am I gonna use it as a close up tool, an edge weapon tool because I have my pistol on me? Um, you know, is this a, a tool that I'm gonna be giving to my wife? Uh, there are different variations of the wrap uh, that, that I do. And in turn, I want to cover that in a more extensive video uh, moving forward. The other thing is you'll notice this monstrosity. Uh, this is padding. Uh, so what happened was is I found that when you purchase one of the new MDVs, the live blades, whether that be the, uh, the Damascus version, the D2 version, what have you, there is an insert on the inside here it comes out and so what I did was I took this and I created a softer outer shell to the blade and the reason for that was it allowed me to use this on my double end bag uh, on my heavy bag with the bobs one of the things was is that these trainers if you created enough force would stab directly through cloth and through the bobs that i have um, and even though that's a cool effect it kind of defeats the whole purpose of using the trainer so if you were to uh, work with someone else you wouldn't want that uh, it's not not the best way to 
um, train. People get pissed off when you stab them and the trainer goes through their body. So anyways, uh, I'm going to do a video on uh, how to wrap this and create a softer um, and safer training aid if you're going to use this for more heavy contact. Now, I will state that using this trainer in the majority of training environments where you are doing uh, trainer to flesh contact, where you're just sliding it like this, or even what you're just like touching. The fact is, is that I believe that your ability to manipulate this blade and be a professional with it and to not hurt someone is a skill that you obtain when you are using a trainer that if you go too hard, it may actually hurt the other person. Whether or not you believe that or your training background uh, contradicts that, it is the reason that I like these. It's the reason why I will continue to advocate these. We are in the process of looking at softer options, but that is for more extreme training environments. So as the violence increases in our training, we want to make sure that the tools that we're using are not going to permanently hurt the people that we're training with. If you are not at that level of training, there's no reason why you can't use something that's hard like aluminum um, to, to work that. So those are just my thoughts on the trainer, but you know, uh, obviously everyone has their own opinions on things and I'm sure there are those that believe that they should be soft and squishy like this. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was just a real quick update on the MDV. Uh, if you have uh, one found entertainment or learned something or uh, found value out of this video, then please do us a favor and hit like, subscribe. Uh, I am going to be dropping a lot more videos on the Knives of Scallywag on the Scallywag YouTube channel and then use of or just options for training on the Elite U. So anything that is involved with personal protection, uh, using it against an opponent or you know anything in that environment, you're gonna find on the Elite U. So if you haven't subscribed to that platform, then make sure that you, you subscribe to that YouTube channel as well. Now, to finish this out and the last thing i want to talk about is the the reason why uh everything kind of was split so uh for in, in in different terms when you used to order the mdv plus one you used to receive the d2 version you would receive the rhino sheath you received the other sheet that came directly with it, and then you also received a trainer. And that was a good deal. Um, some people complained about the pricing, but you know, what have you, can't, can't please everyone. Uh, the thing is, is that the reason that we split all of these items up on the website is so that you can pick whatever uh, options that you want. The other reason is that in order for us to bring out the other two variations, we had to choose whether or not we wanted to just sell those by themselves or to put them in their own kits. And it didn't make much sense to put a aluminum MDV with a trainer and force you to buy that and then also do that with the Damascus version and the D2 version because we obviously understand that there are a lot of customers out there that would be buying all three or they'd be buying multiple versions of one and in turn by doing so you would have so many trainers and even though that's important to have a trainer it's important to have a trainer <laughs> you don't need 50 trainers so the thing is is that um we want to split that up so that you guys could go hey this is my first purchase i'm going to get a d2 version i'm going to grab that rhino sheet see what that's about uh, obviously you're receiving the the sheet that comes with the d2 and it's important to get a trainer so just add that to the cart and then that's it when you come back and you're like look i want to get the damascus version because that's really pretty and i'm into that whatever uh you can just buy that blade itself and you don't have to worry about uh also having another trainer that comes with it so um for those that have been asking that sending emails or making comments on uh, uh various videos 
That's the reason why everything split. You'll notice that that split happened when we released the other two versions of the MDV. So that concludes the video. Once again, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to be dropping a lot more videos in the future, and I hope to see you guys there.